Good day everyone, my name is Jewel. This is J7409 Tropical Update for Monday, September the 14th, 2020. Thank you so much for clicking play and checking out all of these seven systems with me today. If you're into the weather and you want to know what's going on, no matter what it might be, please click subscribe, click the bell, and check off all. Don't forget to check off all to ensure you get all my latest videos. I would appreciate it muchly if you would subscribe. Also, I'm going to uh, go over all of these systems, but I am going to make a separate video for Sally. There's so much information, the videos are way too long. So we're going to go over all of these now, but Sally will be in detail in a different video coming up. So we might as well start over here with disturbance number one. It's still just a weak low pressure over the western central Gulf of Mexico. It's got limited shower activity and development of this system is not expected due to the strong upper level winds while it moves slowly southwestward and then southward over the western Gulf of Mexico during the next few days. 0% two days, five days 10%. It's going to go this way folks it's not going to bother us of course here is sally now tropical storm sally is what she is she's expected to turn into a hurricane though within the next hours coming up throughout today now the winds are 60 miles per hour the minimum central pressure is 996 millibars if you're tracking 28.3 north 87.3 west moving west northwest at nine miles per hour i will say sally is moving slow she could become a dangerous hurricane and then of course i'm going to get to paulette but paulette right now her winds are 90 miles per hour and she is over Bermuda. The eye is getting close. I'm going to show you in a moment with a minimum central pressure of 973 millibars, 32.3 north, 60.7 west, moving northwest at 12 miles per hour. So let's go take a closer look at Paulette over Bermuda. Here we have a up-to-date radar view of Paulette. You see the circle, Bermuda, the small island of Bermuda, right in here. And it's looking like the eye of Paulette, just barely, just barely moving across uh, just a little off of the island. Now, the southern portion of the eye wall with hurricane force winds and torrential rains are currently spreading over the island. Now, all persons, you're going to come into a lull. As you can see right now, it's nothing going on. You're in the clear right now for the most part. But this eye is coming. It is coming. And all persons are urged not to venture outside until the storm passes this afternoon as the winds will increase suddenly from the southwest. And you can see the eye is to the southeast of it but when all of it whips around this wind's going to pick up you're in a lull right now not much going on Just don't think it's over it's not let's check out and see if we can get a webcam picture and this is bermuda you can see a time stamp at the bottom the time's a little different okay but it's what's going on right now they're in the lull now this is this morning around 8 a.m okay they're in the lull. Not a lot going on, but you can see it's still windy. It's still very rainy. There's a lot going on. I looked at this yesterday. There were several bugs out here. And I see one's kind of drifted this way. This one's having a hard time. You can see the waves are beginning to build. Please be careful. Once again, do not go out until late this evening. Late after this eye has passed because it's very dangerous and it'll catch you off guard. Then we have Renee. Renee's a little of nothing, folks. She's just a tropical depression. The winds are 30 miles per hour. She's barely hanging on. It's located 27.4 north, 48.3 west, moving west at 3 miles per hour. Then, of course, we have Teddy now. This is a system we've been watching for a long time. And I'm going to show you more about Teddy. 
The winds are 40 miles per hour. The pressure is 1,004 millibars. It's located 13.4 north, 40.4 west. It's moving west-northwest at 12 miles per hour. Now, Teddy's going to be something else, folks, and I'll get all into that in just a moment whenever I go over and show you some models. But let's move over to 21. Now, this will be Vicky, and if this one happens, it will be Wilford. Then we'll start with the Greek alphabet. Tropical Depression 21. The winds are 35 miles per hour. The minimum central pressure, 1,009 millibars, located 18.5 north, 28.3 west, moving north away from everybody at 6 miles per hour. And then we do have... A disturbance number three. Now, this is a tropical wave near the west coast of Africa, producing disorganized shower and thunderstorm activity. The environmental conditions appear to be conducive for some slow development of the system this week as this wave moves westward at about 10 miles per hour over the tropical Atlantic. Two days, 10%, five days, 40% chance. Looking at the tracking map from the National Hurricane Center on Paul Lett this morning, you can see X marks the spot over Bermuda. Should remain a hurricane, could turn into a major hurricane, then back to a hurricane as it moves on up and out. And all of my friends up in these areas, you shouldn't have anything to worry about. I know a lot of you have been watching this up around St. John's and all of these areas here. You should not have anything to worry about. Looking like Paulette should stay out to sea. And post-tropical, Storm Renee, depression areas right in here. She's nothing, okay? She's going to be a rainmaker. Looking like she keeps heading down this way. Maybe some of the islands, Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, you guys can get some rain out of it. But don't worry, the wind should be nothing. Nothing that you can't handle at all. Might even fizzle out entirely. But you guys down around in these areas could get some rain out of Renee. This is Sally. You can see still a tropical storm as of this morning. But looking like by early morning hours around 1 a.m. tomorrow, Tuesday, should be a hurricane. Hurricane warnings. Hurricane warnings. You can see part of the uh, panhandle of Alabama, all the way across Mississippi, some of Louisiana, where you see the blue. This is tropical storm warnings, and where you see slightly a little pink tropical storm watch. Sally is going to be a slow mover. It's going to be a dangerous storm, and it is going to bring copious amounts of rain. Like I said, I'm going to have a full detail just on Sally video coming up later in the day. Now here we have a look at the tracking map for Teddy. This is the system that we've been watching for a while now, and I said it was going to turn into a major hurricane. Looks like it is going to. But the good news is it should not bother at this time any of the island areas, with the exception of stirring up the surf and causing rip currents, but we're going to watch it, but this is what it's looking like. The initial motion is still the same as it was. A deep layer, we got this deep layer, subtropical ridge. It's positioned over the central Atlantic, and it's going to keep, or it should keep Teddy moving west-northwestward for the next couple of days. Thereafter, the ridge is expected to shift northward and eastward. And the strengthening cycle is forecast to turn northwestward around the western periphery of the ridge. Now, it's looking like all the models are in agreement on this developing track scenario. And the new official track looks just like this, what you're looking at. So, this is the track that it should be on. Now, Teddy's going to have several days to strengthen over very warm ocean waters with a light vertical wind shear regime. There's not going to be a lot of wind to bother it. The hurricane's intensification will be intermittent of the uh, dry mid-level air that's going to just briefly disrupt the inner core convection structure. But it's looking like 
the National Hurricane Center intensity forecast is going to be unchanged, and it's going to bring Teddy to a major hurricane strength by the middle of the week. Now, folks, some of the dynamical hurricane models continue to indicate that Teddy could strengthen even faster than that, and I can't even bear to make that forecast, but it's looking like in 120 hours from now, the winds will be at least 115 miles per hour or more in Teddy. So, the good news is, looking like it's not going to bother the island areas at all. And this is a check of the tropics this morning. Can you believe it, folks? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven things to keep our eyes on. I've gone over everything that is really important right now and i will have a, an entire separate video just on sally coming up so stay tuned for that okay but so far as everybody else this is what it's looking like paulette's going to go out this way and not bother anyone up here renee's just fizzling out to nothing she may bring a little rain down in this area here Teddy is going to turn into a major hurricane, hopefully move on up this way and out. Paulette is over Bermuda as we speak now. Should be over with by tonight for that area. 21, we'll keep our eyes on it. And this system, disturbance number two, it's still right there on the coastline, way too far out to find out anything in detail about it, really, that's significant for everyone's knowledge to know right now. But it is going to move north-northwest right out this way. I will keep my eyes on it. All my friends in the islands, do not worry. I will keep you posted, as well as everyone else on the East Coast and the Gulf of Mexico. Have a good day, a safe day, a blessed day. Thank you so much for watching. Please share this information with your friends, your family, and on your social media to help me make people aware and to stay safe if something's coming their way. I would appreciate it a lot. Peace, love, and kindness to each and every one of you. Thank you so much for watching.